Hello and welcome students to the section 11 website pen testing other major web attacks. In this section we are going to take a look at these points. First of all we will learn about shell uploading attack. Then later we will learn about buffer overflow attack. Then brute force attack. And finally we will learn about local file inclusion attack. So let's start with the first video of section 11 shell upload attack on buggy web application. In this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all, what is shell upload attack and how we can perform shell upload attack on a web application that we are going to cover here in this video. So to perform this attack, we need to open Kali Linux and inside Kali Linux, we, know, we need to open Matilide buggy web application. Guys, I'm here at Kali Linux operating system. So first of all, open your browser and open Matilide. So here you can see that we are on OS Matilide. Now uh, we need to go to the file upload section. So you can select here others. Inside others you can select unrestricted file upload and you can click on file upload. So here you can see that uh, this is the page. And uh, you can see here that there is an option to upload a file. But we don't have any file right now. So we need to create a file. So first of all, I need to check the hints and videos. So click here and click unrestricted file upload. Let's learn about what is the meaning of unrestricted file uploadation. So here you can see that uh, this is the overview of unrestricted file upload. So unrestricted file upload may result when applications fail to restrict and validate file uploads using server side controls. It means when attacker is trying to upload any file on the website and Websites are not able to detect it that if the file is malicious or not. That is considered an unrestricted file upload. So let me come down and let me show you some examples here. For example, this one. Simple shell and uh, this is the code. So they are saying that if copy and paste this shell code in a file and upload the file right here. So we need to upload this file here, right? and we need to just copy and paste it we need to save it in a file with .php extension and then we can upload that file in the server so this is a basically kind of backdoor so by using this backdoor from here to here it will create a new page inside the server and by using that page we can simply intrude in the server many times so let me show you that how we can use this to create a backdoor so let me copy this code from here right click copy it and you can come here and we need to upload this code from here so to upload it uh, i need to save this file as a .php extension so you can click on applications and uh, then you can find out in accessories you can search for leaf pad open a leaf pad paste here the code so this is the code now we need to save this code on desktop as you can type any name for example you can type backdoor dot php and you can click desktop and save it on desktop so it is available inside desktop now we need to upload this PHP file from here. So to do that, you can click here on the arrow. On desktop, you have a file backdoor.php. Select it and open it. So backdoor.php has been opened here. Now you can click on upload file. So let me click on upload file. So you can see here that file has been uploaded to this location and uh, you can see here temporary file name permanent file name so permanent file name is slash tmp slash backdoor.php so we need to go to this path so this is the path where this file is located so you can see here in the url that it is saying that page equal to something dot php right so we need to replace this term dot php and we need to type slash tmp slash backdoor.php so inside permanent file name you will find this right click here copy it and replace upload dash file dot php and paste here right let's see 
if you are able to access any new page or not and hit enter and here we go that you can see here that a new page has been created by using that shell and we have successfully uploaded a shell in the server so guys here we can run uh, many commands here to get information about the files uh, for example you can type here dir to check all the directories and click execute command so you can see here that all the files available in the server is listed here this is sensitive information but by using this shell we are able to gather this kind of information you can also type ls the same thing you can get by using ls click execute command and here you can see all the files are still available here if you want to view any file for example uh, if you want to view home.php file so you can type here vi space home.php vi space the file name and hit enter and just wait here and here you can see that all the details these are the complete details available on that particular page so by using let me go back so by using uh, the shell you are able to type commands and you are able to execute these commands on the server so this is a complete information about shell uploading attack so this is all about the shell uploading attack and uh, in the next video we are going to learn about buffer overflow attack on web application thanks for your time